Our character story today is Joyfulness at Home. Saturday was one of those days when everything seemed to go wrong. It was a test of Jenny Henson's ability to stay joyful. Jenny got up late. She took a quick bath and dressed. Because she had trouble finding her shoes, her breakfast was cold. She gulped down her eggs and ran out the door to catch her ride to day camp. Although she ran all the way to the church, she was still late. When she arrived at the parking lot, she discovered that the bus had just left. Jenny wanted to cry. Her day was such a disappointment. Then her thoughts turned to Jesus and his disappointments on earth. He was the creator. The people he had made, he made hated him. Lowly shepherds worshipped him at his birth, and he was spit upon by soldiers at his death. For three long years, he trained his disciples only to have them run away when he was arrested. Jesus must surely know how I feel right now, she said aloud. I'm not going to let my disappointing morning take away my joy. Jenny took a deep breath and started walking home. She rejoiced as she thought that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans eight twenty eight. So we can still have joy even in the midst of our disappointments. Dear God, we just thank you so much that um, you are still the same wonderful, loving, kind, and wise God, even when we have disappointments in our life and um, when he, even when things don't go our way. And so um, we just thank you that you understand how we feel, that you have had your own disappointments um, but that you um, still had joy and you still give us joy. So just help us to trust you and to find our joy in you. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>